me down What is up my friends and welcome back to your daily dose of Fortnite here in the Happy Power Channel. In this particular video we have for you guys today's daily news refresh. Now I apologize for yesterday's video, it was out super super late but that's only because there's not that much news to talk about but we do have for you guys some new topics that will lead us to some more information about the storyline and of course the 8.40 update. So without further ado, let's get to our first topic which is going to be coming directly from Hypex. So Hypex actually tweeted out this. The 8.50 update, which is one week after the 8.40 update, will have the Avenger slash Thanos LTM files or skins. They might add something to this patch though, who knows, who is hyped. 8.5 update is on the 23rd of this month and the Avengers comes out on the 26th. Alright, so that's actually very, very big. That actually gives us some insight as far as the Gauntlet LTM and of course, the possibility of the massive Endgame X Fortnite collaboration. It's just absolutely crazy to think about and I cannot wait for this to come inside of Fortnite. Moving into our next topic, thanks to my good friend Lucas, we found out something that's actually very, very strange, which is a brand new event file. So it's actually called Elemental Affliction Tags underscore underground dot you asset. Now this is not for save the world, and we're not really sure why it's in Battle Royale, but it was actually updated recently, and we still have no idea as far as what it means. But it also says dormant, fire, steam, water, life, and earth. Now, it says underground, which means all these elements are probably going to be underground. And considering the fact that Loot Lake now looks like this with all the excavators all around Loot Lake completely circling it, I think the tunnel systems will actually be beholding a whole bunch of shrines of, of course, elemental kings or, of course, elements in general. And quite frankly, I definitely know for a fact that the tunnel systems are in fact going to be underneath here because it just simply makes sense. The entirety of Loot Lake is going to be completely dug up. Now I'm not really sure how to feel about this, I mean Loot Lake's point of interest is going to be completely gone and replaced with a different point of interest that will most likely be underground or of course just simply a new point of interest in general. I mean quite frankly it's a cool spot to land but overall it's a very dead area. You know this has been a very cool spot for a little while especially when the cube is around here but right now there's really nothing to do there aside from just loot a few places and that's really about it. There's nothing really special about Loot Lake anymore and I really did think it needed an update and here you guys go this is going to be the biggest update so far. So basically what's going to happen is Loot Lake is going to be completely dug up as we can definitely tell from the background video. From that point forward I think we'll be finding a bunch of tunnel systems that are going to connect to this major system that we found over near uh, pretty much the Lou Lake Bunker. And then from that point on, I think we might be seeing a whole bunch of brand new Elemental Kings or the possibility of just finding elements in general. Not quite sure how this is going to come into play when it comes to Fortnite Battle Royale, but we can definitely tell there's most definitely elements inside the event files. Now 8.40 is right around the corner and is actually going to be taking place on Wednesday. We know this for a fact because Epic Games posted this over on Reddit. Now, on their post upon the actual audio bugs and, you know, they pretty much need help, they also said this, Please note the 8.40 update later this week, Wednesday at the earliest, is going to break network compatibility and invalidate their replays. Thanks. Alright, so we definitely know 8.40 is going to be taking place on Wednesday or probably a little bit later than that, but basically, we know for a fact the update is next week. So with inside that update, we'll definitely be expecting a whole bunch of brand new event files. I mean, Loot Lake is so close to being dug up and we definitely need some sort of event to make this, you know, a storyline, because as of right now, there's really no storyline aside from finding a Loot Lake bunker, and we know for a fact their Ruin skin isn't in fact in the game. But as far as that goes, the Discovery skin is ruined, uh, we have a Loot Lake bunker, and as of right now, Loot Lake is surrounded by a whole bunch of excavators, so in 8.40, We'll definitely be seeing a whole bunch of brand new leaks as far as events go. And I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And I'm definitely curious to see what your theories are upon why there's elements that we have never seen so far inside the files when it comes to the events. Because we're all pretty much puzzled about this. We really have no idea what this means or how it's going to be put inside the game. But nonetheless guys, very very interesting. Now speaking of that bunker, I've seen this over on Reddit which actually says this. This is how I try to approximate measure of the size of the chamber under Loot Lake. Read the description and full process and size. Alright guys, so I'll leave the full link to this in the description down below, but we can definitely tell this person was actually very, very smart. And he approximated how how deep the actual loot lake bunker is going to be. And we definitely tell in the fifth image, it is definitely quite deep, which is actually very, very strange. Now like I was saying a little while ago, I definitely think it's going to be one massive tunnel system. And I think Lux is actually teasing as far as what's going to be coming. So there might be a whole bunch of treasure down here, but there also might be a whole bunch of elements that we're going to be finding out throughout the Season 8 storyline, and probably through 8.40's update. 
But as far as today's video goes, that's all I have for you guys for this particular video. As always, if you are new around here, I would appreciate if you guys subscribe with notifications on and drop a fat like on today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay happy.